Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the exciting world of automation. Imagine being able to create and publish engaging posts on LinkedIn, Facebook, and X all with just one click. Sounds too good to be true. Well, stick around because I will show you how to achieve exactly that using N8N, a powerful automation tool. In this tutorial, we will build an automation workflow that takes an article link on any topic, summarize the content, create platform-specific posts, and publish them across your favorite social media platform. Let's get started. The step one in our workflow is execute workflow node. You can create the node in N8N by clicking on the plus tab. This is our execute workflow node. Here, you can add an optional trigger allowing the automation to run at a specific interval. For instance, you can schedule it to execute every day or week to keep your content strategy consistent. Next, we need to fetch and summarize the article. For this, we will create the HTTP request node with the help of Perplexity AI and AI tools that already has access to the internet and does a fantastic job at summarizing content. Since Perplexity AI does not directly integrate with N8N, we will use its API key. To get the API key, go to the perplexity.ai. Click the Settings button at the bottom to generate an API key. By clicking Generate, you can generate an API key of Perplexity AI. Copy the API key. Now go to the API reference of Perplexity AI documentation. They have the post method to interact with Perplexity AI. Paste your generated API key in the authorization. Now copy the curl to use this post method to interact with the Perplexity AI. In the HTTP request node, we have the import curl option. So paste the copied curl of Perplexity AI. It will populate all the existing field of this node. But you need to do a minor change in the JSON field. In the article and the content, you have to give the link of the article. Here you need to provide the link of the article. Now click on the test step to test this node. Here you can see the result. It has summarized the article. Now that we have our summary, it is time to generate content tailored for each platform. This is where the real magic happens. Let's start with LinkedIn. For LinkedIn, we will build a summarization chain node. Let's create the summarization chain. Our chain will be LLM chain. Select define below. Here we will provide the prompt. First, delete this and connect this chain to our HTTP request node. Rename this to LinkedIn chain. Now add a model. We will use Grok for that. So in the model, we will use 3.18 instant. And you can connect Grok using the credentials. For that, you need the API key of Grok. To get the API key of Grok, go to the Grok cloud. Click on the API keys. Here you can create the Grok API key just by clicking on the Create API key. Give the name to your key. Social. Copy the Grok API key and, and paste it here. Now it's time to provide the prompt. So I have already write the prompt. I will just paste that prompt here and in the article summary. We need to select the content and paste it here. So our LinkedIn chain is ready. It will craft a post LinkedIn post for us. So let's test it out. Here you can see it has created the post based on the summarized content. Next, we will build a similar chain for the Facebook and X.
So this will be our Facebook chain. I will add this Grok chat model. Select the credentials. And here we will use 3.18B instant model. Now, we will give the prompt to create the Facebook post. I have already created the prompt, so I will just paste that prompt here to create our Facebook post. And grab the content from the HTTP request node. So this node is ready. Let's test it out. Here you can see it has created the Facebook post, based on our prompt. At the last, we will build one more LLM chain for the X post. It will be similar, only the prompt will be different. And delete this. And let's provide the prompt here. Paste the prompt. and grab the content from the HTTP request node. So basically content is our summary of the article. Okay. Now add the grok. And 3.1. So this is ready. Now let's test it out. Here you can see it has created the post for the X. So with our posts are ready, it's time to publish them. We will use dedicated nodes for each platform. First, we will build the LinkedIn node to post on LinkedIn. Search LinkedIn. So create a post. Here you need to link your LinkedIn account with N8N. So you can click on create new credentials. And there are two ways to connect the LinkedIn account. The standard way and community management way. In the standard way, you need to just click on connect my account. And here you will provide the credentials of your LinkedIn account. And in this way, make sure turn off the organization's support. Another way is community management. Here you need to provide the client ID and client secret. You can use this way also by following this documentation to get the client ID and client secret of LinkedIn. But the standard way is recommended. So we will use the recommended way. I have already connected my LinkedIn account here. And our resource will be post because we will post the content and operation will be create. We will post as the person. So this is my name, my LinkedIn name. Now in the text, we will provide the content which we want to post on LinkedIn. So here is the content you want to post on LinkedIn. So we will grab this and put it in the text. So now this is ready. Let's test it out. Here you can see it returns you run. That means it has posted it. So let's check it out by going on the LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn profile. Here you can see it is the latest post, which we just do with the help of our automation. Now we will create the Facebook node to post on Facebook. For that, we will use the Facebook Graph API node. Here, first you need to connect to your Facebook account. You can connect to your Facebook account by providing the access token.
you can see an 8N documentation, where they provide all the steps to get the access token. I have already connected my Facebook account. So, in the host URL, you need to keep it default. The method will be the post method. And in the graph API version, you can select any version. We will select the version 20. In the node, we will keep it me and in the edge will be feed. Now we can add an option to add a query parameter. The name will be message. In the value, we need to provide the content we want to post on the Facebook. So you want to post the text. So you will grab the text from the Facebook chain and put it in the value. So our Facebook node is ready. Let's test it out by click on the test step. Here you can see it return an ID that mean it has posted the content on the Facebook. Let's check it out. Here you can see it has posted the content. Next, we will create the X node to post on X. Let's create the X node by searching X in the search bar. So we will create a tweet because we are posting only the text. So we can create the credentials. For that, we need the client ID and client secret. You can follow the documentation of N8N to get the client ID and client secret of X. They have provided the step-by-step -step documentation. But I have already connected my account with X. So the resource will be tweet. Operation will be create because we are creating a new tweet. Put text in the text field from the X chain. So this node is also ready. Click on test step to test this node. The X node has also published the content. Let's check it out. So here's our profile. Here you can see it just posts the content. Now our automation workflow is complete. Let us do one final test by changing the article link in the Perplexity AI node. Let's copy the link and let's change it in the Perplexity node. Now let's run this whole automation with one click. It will summarize the content and it will create the post. And then it will post it on. Now the automation has completed. Let's check the post on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So here you can see the new post based on the article summary in the LinkedIn. And the Twitter also has the new post and in this Facebook also. This is the latest post which we just posted through our automation. And that is how you automate your social media strategy with N8N, whether you are managing multiple platforms or just looking to save time. This workflow is a game changer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.